Hi there, and welcome to another library yoga session. For those of you who haven't practiced with me before, my name is Chelsea, and I am both a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Brock University. Today, we're gonna take a nice mindful movement break to relieve some tension that can come when we're spending a lot of time hunching over our books, hunching over our computers. We're gonna take some time to reduce the amount of physical stress we're feeling in the neck, the shoulders, and the upper back in particular. But as always, this is a full body practice. Uh, I encourage you to remain mindfully aware of your breath, especially throughout the practice and move within your own range of comfort. We'll start by coming to a seat. If we're seated in a chair, you can be closer to the edge of your chair. You may also be seated on the floor, um, a bed, a couch, anything that's uh, nearby for you today. We want our feet, if we're seated on a piece of furniture, flat on the floor, right underneath our knees. And we'll assume a posture that is both relaxed and alert. So we're sitting up nice and tall through the spine. The shoulders are relaxing down. And we'll gently soften the gaze, or if we're comfortable, maybe close our eyes. Taking a moment just to check in right away. Noticing how the body is feeling as it settles into this posture. If there are any areas that are a little tight, maybe a little achy, feel free to make any small adjustments to get a little more comfortable here. And then just observe how your body is feeling. From your body, bring your attention to your breath. Notice how your breath is moving. If it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow. And notice where you feel your breath the most. Maybe down in your belly, maybe in your chest. Maybe you feel that gentle inhale and exhale moving in and out through the nostrils. Just observing, not changing anything here. And then from the breath, bring your attention to how your mind is moving. Just noticing where your thoughts are running off to. Maybe they're a little scattered, thinking ahead, thinking about upcoming things in your day, in your week. Or maybe it's a little slow. There's not all that much going on right now. There's no judgment. Just observing where your mind is running off to and noticing if there are any strong emotions attached to those thoughts. And then noticing how the body and the breath respond. Maybe as you start getting carried away with your thoughts, your shoulders start to tighten and tense a little bit again. Start to lo loosen everything up soften everything down and start to breathe deep into the belly. Breathing deep down into the belly and then we'll exhale through pursed lips, like we're breathing out through a straw or we're whistling without making a sound. We're gonna do two more breaths like that. Take a nice deep breath in, deep down into the belly. And then exhale through pursed lips, drawing out that exhalation. We'll do one more. And if you start to feel lightheaded or dizzy, just return to normal breathing. Deep breath in and exhale through pursed lips. Nice, we'll return to normal breathing. And gently roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And as we exhale, we'll take the shoulders down and flutter the eyes open to get moving today. So we're gonna start with one of my favorite moves for relieving a lot of tension really quickly. And I call this the squeeze. So we're gonna start by squeezing the shoulders up towards the ears. 
We're going to clench the hands into fists, tense up the muscles in the arms, and then tense up through your core, tense up through your legs, tense through your feet. You can scrunch up your face, take a deep breath in, and up with a sigh, we're going to drop it all, let it all go. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, we tense everything up, we're squeezing everything up, engaging all the muscles, and exhale, we let it go. One more time, tense it all up. And exhale, we let it go. Awesome. We'll start to roll the shoulders up and back a little bit here, warming things up. We'll go ahead and switch directions, just noticing how the shoulders are feeling. Maybe they're a little crunchy. <laughs> we haven't moved around a lot yet today. That's normal. Maybe switch one more time. And then we'll relax the shoulders down. With a great big inhale, we're going to reach the arms out to the sides, reach them all the way up, flip the palms up towards the ceiling, lifting up out of the waist. And on an exhale, we'll reach the arms out to the sides, reaching them out nice and long. So you start to feel a bit of a stretch across the top of the arm here. We'll take a deep breath in at center. And then exhaling, we're going to drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. And you'll start to feel very quickly that this increases the sensation across the side of the neck, the top of the arm, even down the forearm. So again, move into a place where you're at your edge. You're still comfortable. You're just, you're pushing yourself a little bit to have a little more experience in the pose. You're not pushing to the point where you want to scream out like, oh, oh my gosh, this is insane. We're not pushing that far. If you're here and you'd like a little bit more sensation, you can flip your left palm up. And this will increase the stretch across your hand, down the base of your forearm here. Wherever you are, we'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll come back to center and drop the arms down. On your next inhale, we reach up again. We flip the palms up one more time, lifting up out of the waist. And exhale, we take the arms out nice and wide one more time. This time, we drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Noticing if one side feels a little different than the other. Maybe if we'd like a little more sensation, flipping that right palm up. And as we get into some deeper stretches today, notice what happens to your breath. Are you holding your breath? Try to maintain a nice and smooth inhale and exhale. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale. We'll come back to center, releasing the arms down. Nice. If it would feel good, take a couple of shoulder rolls one way and the other. And then back at center, we'll start by dropping the chin down towards the chest, getting a nice stretch through the back of the neck. Take a nice deep breath in here. And exhale here. Inhale, we're going to take the gaze all the way up towards the ceiling, thinking about leading with your bottom jaw. So you're reaching your jaw up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale here. Great, we'll come back to center and we'll just drop the chin one more time. And then right away we'll lift the chin one more time and bring it back down to center. Great, now we'll take the gaze over the right shoulder, turning the head as far as you can, reaching your edge, deep breath in. Exhale, we switch, looking over towards the left shoulder. Noticing how it feels as you look side to side, take a deep breath in here. And exhale, we look to the right one more time. Deep breath in. And exhale to the left one more time. Inhale. And exhale, we come back to center. Nice. 
From here, we're gonna inhale, take the arms all the way up, flip the palms up, lift up out of the waist, lengthening through the spine, and exhale, we reach the arms nice and wide. This time, we're gonna circle the right arm underneath the left, bending at the elbows to bring the hands to the tops of the shoulders. So you're giving yourself a bit of a hug here. You're welcome to stay here. If you'd like a little more sensation, you can take the backs of your arms together, maybe wrapping your palms around to come into full eagle arms. We're stretching in behind the shoulder blades here in the upper back. So you can hold on to the shoulders, backs of the hands touch, maybe wrapping all the way around. But this depends on your anatomy, this depends on the range of motion in your shoulders. So really, we're all chasing the same sensation, it just looks a little different for different people. So choose your option, and then lift your elbows up and away from you here. You'll start to feel a great stretch in your upper back behind the shoulder blades. And again, notice your breath. If your breath is running away from you, maybe ease off a little bit. And then consider, if you breathe in, breathing out through pursed lips so you can really focus on your exhalation. On your next inhale, we're going to lift the elbows a little bit, lift the chest up just slightly. And exhale, we're going to round it in, bring the elbows in towards the belly button. Inhale, we're going to lift it up. And exhale, we're going to round it in. One more time, inhale, lift it up. And exhale, round it in. And gently unravel the arms and come back up. Wonderful. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms all the way up, flip the palms up. And exhale, reach the arms out to the sides. This time we take the left arm underneath the right, bending at the elbows, bringing the hands either to the shoulders, maybe the backs of the arms touch, Maybe we wrap the palms around. We start by taking the elbows up and away, return to the breath. Even through the effort in our stretches, see if you can maintain that sense of ease through the breath. Yoga is a balance of effort and ease. And I think that's a beautiful metaphor for life, really. So try to find that ease in your breath. It's often a really great way of bringing a little bit of ease and relaxation to any part of your day, let alone a crazy twisted posture like this. We'll take a deep breath in, lifting the chest slightly, lifting the elbows slightly, and exhale, we round it back, bring the elbows towards the belly button. Inhale, we lift it up, and exhale, we round it in. One more time, inhale, and exhale. We'll unravel the arms and roll ourselves back up. Maybe roll the shoulders a little bit here. We'll take the right hand either to the base of our seat or the floor, reaching that left arm all the way up and arcing it over towards the right. Notice if your left hip is rocking up here, we wanna to try to keep it nice and rooted down on our seat. Really lengthening out through the side body, across the arm, reaching long with the fingers. Take one more inhale and exhale. We come on up. We'll bring that left hand across the body to the right knee and bring the right fingertips behind us either on the floor or on the back of our chair. With an inhale, we sit up tall and exhale, leading with the chest, we twist towards the right, maybe taking the gaze back towards the right shoulder. As you inhale, think about sitting up taller. And as you exhale, think about twisting just a little bit more. Really focusing on these actions of lifting and twisting. Notice your breath. Again, try to find that ease. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, hold the twist. But take your gaze to the front towards your left shoulder and gently bow your chin down. You'll feel that stretch in the back right side of the neck, maybe in behind the right shoulder blade. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale. We'll unwind. 
Nice. We'll take the left hand now either to the floor or to our seat. With an inhale, reach that right arm all the way up. And exhale, arc over towards the left. Reaching nice and long, rooting down through that right hip. Maintaining the breath as we lengthen through the side body, keeping the chest lifted and rotating up towards the ceiling. Take one more inhale and exhale. We come on up. We bring that right hand across to the left knee and we circle those left fingertips behind us, either on the floor or on our seat. With an inhale, we sit up nice and tall and exhale, leading with the chest so we're not using the hands too much here. We twist towards the left, taking the gaze back towards the left shoulder. Notice the breath. Try to maintain that easy inhale and exhale. Sitting up taller on the inhale, maybe twisting a little more on the exhale. We'll take one more deep breath in. And on the exhale, we hold the twist, but we take the gaze to the front towards the right shoulder and gently bow the chin down. Feeling that stretch in the back left side of the neck, maybe in behind the left shoulder blade. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll unravel. If it would feel good here with your hands on your knees, We'll inhale, lift the chest slightly, engaging the core, pulling the belly button in towards the spine, and exhale, slide the hands forwards as we round it back. One more time, inhale, we lift it up, and exhale, we round it back. Nice. From here, we're going to come into chair pose. So if you're seated on the floor, you can make your way up to standing and then sit back as if you're about to sit in a chair. If you're seated in a chair, you want to plant your feet firmly on the floor and just lift yourself up slightly out of your seat so you're hovering above your chair. Make sure that your knees are directly above your ankles so you're not knocking your knees in too much or out too much, they're perfectly in line. Lengthen through the spine and maybe bring the hands to center or reach them forwards maybe up but if you reach up and you start to really feel it in your lower back please ease off reach your arms forwards or at center instead we won't be here for much longer take a nice deep breath in and then exhale we'll straighten the legs and we'll make our way up to standing if you have a chair you can push it off to the side we'll start with our feet underneath our hips with an inhale reaching the arms all the way up Catch a hold of the left wrist with the right hand, and we'll arc over to the side, getting a little deeper into our side stretch here. If you'd like a little bit more, maybe you step those left toes behind the right foot. So you're getting a little deeper down into the waist, the side of the hip. We'll take a nice deep breath in, and exhale. We'll come back to center, we'll switch. So we'll grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand, arc over towards the left, keeping the chest rotating open, maybe stepping those right toes behind the left leg, getting a little deeper into that side bend. Wherever you are, we'll take one more breath in, and exhale, make our way back up, circle the arms around and down. Nice. Now we're going to wake up the lower body just a little bit more here. So you can step your feet hip distance, maybe a little wider, and we'll start just by circling the hips around. So like a very slow hula hoop, making some big circles with the hips. We'll go ahead and switch directions. Maybe observing if there are any tight spots in your legs. I know I can feel this in my hamstrings a little bit today. We'll go ahead and come back to center here. And now taking the feet a little wider, and this will be dependent on the clothes that you're wearing today. We're going to bring the hands to the hips, lift the chest, take the shoulders back, take a deep breath in, 
and exhale, hinging from the hips. We're gonna keep the spine nice and long here, bringing the fingertips down towards the floor. So you can bend your knees a little bit here if it would feel good, and then continue the journey, folding all the way forwards. Again, keeping the knees as bent as you like. We'll bring that left hand to center, and with an inhale, we're gonna reach that right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, we'll switch, bringing that right hand to center. Inhale, we reach that left arm all the way up. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, we come back to center. And then we'll slowly lift our way up. So you can roll up, you can bring your hands to your hips and make your way all the way back up to standing. Awesome. We'll keep the feet wide for now. We'll just clasp the hands behind the back. So you can clasp your hands really loosely, keeping the wrists far apart. Or if you have the flexibility through your chest, your shoulders and your wrists, maybe you can clasp your hands closely together. There's no benefit to doing it one way or the other. Again, we just need to do different things to feel the same sensation. And we'll start by lifting the chest, taking the shoulders back, and drawing the knuckles away from the body. So this is a big opening through the chest here, a stretch through the shoulders. And notice if you've started just to kind of like dump into your your lower back, if your hips are shifting forwards, try to keep a nice solid core engagement here. So you're not really moving your lower body. You're trying to keep it very stable. We'll take one more inhale and then exhale. We'll bring the hands back down and this time just subtly draw the knuckles down. So you're broadening across the collarbones, stretching the shoulders down, stretching across the tops of the shoulders. Take one more inhale and exhale, we'll release. You can shake things out a little bit. And again, still we've got those legs nice and wide. We'll roll the shoulders maybe, prepare ourselves. One more time, we're gonna clasp the hands behind the back. And this time we're gonna hinge from the hips, folding forwards with the hands clasped, reaching the arms up and over as we fold forwards. So we're getting a nice stretch through the shoulders, the upper back. Letting go through the head, the neck. And now your arms might not come very far. It might just be a little bit, or maybe it's a lot. Again, this really depends on the person and it depends on your anatomy, your flexibility. There's no right or wrong here. You just wanna move in the way that makes sense to you and where you feel it in an appropriate way. Wherever you are, we'll take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, we'll bring the hands back towards the back body first, and then release them down towards the floor. From here, we'll start to roll our way up, one vertebra at a time, dangling the arms, rolling up through the spine, rolling the shoulders up and back before the head lifts. Nice. From here, we'll just step the feet together, and we're gonna take a nice, ragdoll forward fold from here. So the feet can be either together or hip distance apart, whatever feels best to you. And we'll take a great big circle with the arms, reaching them all the way up. And exhale, circling them around as we fold, keeping the knees as bent as you need to here, as much as you like. And we'll gently either hold on to opposite elbows or let the fingertips rest down towards the floor allowing the upper body to soften and let gravity pull it down, stretching nice and easy. If it would feel good, maybe you wanna pedal your knees a little bit here, getting a bit of a deeper stretch through the backs of the legs. This might be easier with your fingertips on the floor, <laughs> just in case you're holding your elbows. And then coming back to stillness, we'll take a nice deep breath in, really feel your back body expand with this inhale. And exhale, we'll roll our way back up 
Nice and smooth, shoulders rolling up before the head lifts. Wonderful. We're going to make our way back into a seated position. So this can be on the floor, this can be in your chair. If you're returning to a chair, my challenge to you is to return through chair pose. So make sure your chair is right behind you, especially if it's on wheels, it hasn't run off somewhere. And then slowly, we're going to lower ourselves down, but hover just above the seat, just for a moment. We'll hold for three, two, one, and then lower ourselves down, back onto our chairs. With our feet flat on the floor, again, if we're seated in the chair, if you're seated on the floor, you can sit however you feel most comfortable for you. We'll take just a couple more seated cat cows here. So with the hands on the knees, we'll inhale, take the chest up, take the gaze up, and exhale, round it back. Inhale, take it forwards, lift the chest, lift the gaze, and exhale, round it back. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Come back to center, find your nice, relaxed, but alert posture. Take the shoulders back, and soften the gaze, or close the eyes. Take a moment to check in with your body. Feel the weight of your legs sinking down towards the ground. Feel your hips heavy, supported by your seat. Soften your abdomen and feel your spine as one long line extending up towards the sky. Feel your shoulders sinking down and away from your ears. Feel the weight of your arms and your hands resting on your legs. Unclench your jaw and relax the muscles in your face. Feeling the sensation through your whole body. Observing how it feels. Notice how your breath is moving through your body. Feeling the sensation of the inhale expanding through your belly and your chest. Feeling the cool inhale through the nostrils and the subtle exhale as everything softens down. Notice how the breath feels if it's deep, if it's slow. And then notice how your mind is moving. Notice where your thoughts are running off to. And try to bring them back to either the body or the breath. Taking just a moment of mindful awareness. Notice how your body and your breath and your mind are all feeling right now compared to how you felt at the very beginning. Start to bring some movement now to the fingers and toes, very subtle movement. Notice how the muscles in your arms and your legs respond. 
With a deep breath in, we'll bring the hands to center. And exhale, gently bow the head forwards in gratitude for this time that we have taken together today. We'll slowly lift the head and open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time.